What's up guys, welcome back to Basics Week and this tutorial is all about a unicorn. So I knew I wanted to do a unicorn and I was looking at unicorn pictures and I came across this one picture from Pinterest and it is this girl who is gorgeous and I loved her unicorn and I'm going to have it linked down below but it is heavily inspired off of her unicorn. So the makeup for this look is really basic as well. I wanted to keep it simple like I said I do want to have a few tutorials this year that are really easy to achieve. So if you guys enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not so you'll be notified every single time I upload. With that being said I'm going to let you guys go because my eyes are burning right now. Got a headache, I had a long day at work, filmed and now my eyes are burning from the light. So let's start the tutorial. Start off the look by applying your eyeshadow base. I'm using NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I like that it has a white base to it, which really helps my eyeshadow stand out. The first eyeshadow I'm applying on my eye is a dark purple eyeshadow. It kind of reminds me of like a wine purple. It's from Graveyard Girl Times Tarte Palette Swap Queen and the color is called Man Cat. I'm applying that on top of the eyelid and then blending it up into the crease and bringing it pretty close toward my brow bone. I apply that color to the lower lash line as well. Now I wanted to add a lot more shimmer to the eyes just because it's going to be based off of a unicorn and when you think of unicorn you think of glitter, shimmer, rainbow, bright colors. So I wanted more shimmer on the eye. So I'm using NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Punk Heart. It's a very shimmery eyeshadow. It almost reminds me of a metal. And I'm just applying that on top of the eyelid and mixing it into the lower lash line. So I have a lot of shine there. Around the tear duct, I applied a very light, shimmery eyeshadow from Inglot. I wanted the inner corner to be bright and lighter than the rest of the eye. Now go ahead and use a black eyeliner to line your lash line, then apply mascara to your top and bottom lashes. If you've been keeping up with these tutorials, you know that I haven't been applying fake eyelashes till the end of the video, and that's the same for this video. I apply the false lashes after because false lashes have been really irritating my eyes. So I apply it once I'm done with all the makeup. Most of the time you're going to be applying your foundation. I'm using a full coverage foundation and I just apply that to my face and use my beauty blender to blend it out. I'm using the Makeup Forever HD Stick in Y325 I think it is. I know the color is called Flesh. You're going to be creating a pretty pink rainbow on your face. You want to start off with a hot pink eyeshadow and apply that to the side of your face and then blend it out toward the cheekbone. You don't want too much hot pink because you're going to end up looking like you're an 80s unicorn. So just a little bit of hot pink. Once you've got that hot pink down, you want a light shimmery pink shadow. Very light and shimmery. This eyeshadow I'm using is actually from my 120 BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and I just blend that out toward the forehead and along the cheekbone. Just a lot of shimmer there and you also want to bring these colors down onto the neck and shoulders. Anywhere you have skin pretty much showing you probably want to apply a little bit of that. You don't have to bring it all the way down to your arms but you want to bring it down to the shoulders at least. I wanted to use one of my highlighters in this look as well so I have a pretty highlight. So I'm using a white highlighter. You could use a white shimmery eyeshadow and I'm applying that where you would normally highlight. So the top of the cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose and I blend it in a little bit in the forehead and then on the body as well. This is something that is optional. I used a white liquid eyeliner to create just small little dots all over the pink on the face and on the body. The reason I did that was because I'm going to be applying rhinestones and sometimes the rhinestones just fall off. Even if you use spirit gum, even if you use liquid latex, sometimes it just comes off with sweat. So if the rhinestones fell, I wanted those dots to be there so the look would still look very unicorn itch. There would still be a type of glow to it and if the rhinestones fell off, you know, it would still look pretty. So I did that just in case. Time for the rhinestones. I used a mixture of blue, clear, and pink rhinestones. The pink rhinestones were sticker rhinestones that I got from Dollar Tree and I applied them straight from the sheet to my skin. The thing is, 
if they are sticker rhinestones, they'll stick to your face for a while. But if you're dancing, you're sweating, it's going to come right off. So you got to make sure you're using something that's going to keep them on for as long as possible. So you're going to want to use either an eyelash glue, liquid latex, spirit gum, something that's going to keep them on for as long as possible. So I used eyelash glue to adhere the clear rhinestones and the blue rhinestones. After I had the rhinestones on, I applied my liquid eyeliner and lashes off camera just because I really like did not want to cut my eye again. I cut my eye recently if you don't know. So I was just like, no, I don't want to try doing that standing so far away from a camera. So then I used the liquid liner though to paint on some lower lashes. I don't like the way fake lower lashes look on me. They look funny, so I'd rather just paint it on. For the lips, I use my Kylie Cosmetics Candy K Lip Liner, which is a warm pink color, and I thought that it was too warm, so I ended up using my Kylie Cosmetics Cocoa Lip Quit Lipstick on top of it, which is a very light pink color. After I applied the lipstick, there was two things I decided I needed. I needed a little bit more of a deeper contour, so I used my purple shadow to deepen that area up. And then I decided that the lips need a little bit more shimmer, so I used my light shimmery pink shadow that I used on the face on the lips. So that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I wanted to try doing some tutorials this year that were simpler for people to try to replicate at home. So hopefully this tutorial is something that would inspire a lot of you guys and it's really achievable for you. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you check out my other channel, Geek Up, because pretty soon on that channel, that channel is going to have more of my Halloween tutorials um, for the next upcoming week. So make sure you check out Geek Up. Anyways, I'll see you guys. Take care. Bye.